Bonjour, mon cheris. Welcome to another Design Me Devon. We are back again. It was so much fun last week, so I thought I'd bring you guys one hour as soon as I possibly could. And that is today. Very much today. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be going in and renovating a little cheeky chateau that I saw. The, um, obviously the name of it is in the title and I found that very funny indeed. And I absolutely loved this build. I had a little look around it. I haven't done too much snooping. I'm going to leave it until we do it together. But I just thought it was wonderful and I think you guys are really going to like this as well. I don't know what we're going to do with it. No idea what we're going to do with it, but... I think without further ado, let's have a look at the build on the gallery, look at the description, and then we'll go into the build itself and take a little tour around before we renovate it. Why did I say that weird? Let's go. Here she is, the Chateau du de Timothy, or de Timothy. I thought that was very funny. And I look at this. Look how gorgeous this looks. I think it looks so, I don't know, really charming and... Just lovely. Just absolutely lovely. I'm for this. Lovely gallery picture as well, by the way. Um, and this is done by Ohops97. Hello, my darling. One of my Twitch viewers. And I always see you on YouTube as well. So thank you so much for doing this. This is such a great build. Description. As a child during World War II, Tim was abruptly forced to evacuate his home in rural France. Finding safety in Ireland, his family restarted their post-war lives on the Emerald Isle. Tim never returned to his childhood home, but following his passing, French law saw that Tim's next of kin, his granddaughter, received ownership of the estate. Having been left vacant for more than 80 years, the quaint chateau has fallen into disrepair. But with 25,000 simoleons and a bit of TLC, can it be restored? What a lovely story. I love that as well. That pulled me in. It gave me a vibe of the story. There's history behind it, and I love that. And I'm absolutely here for it. I'm for it, I tell you. So let's have a little look around in game. And thank you so much once again, oh hops, because it's just stunning. And here she is. Look how cute. Oh, this is such a lovely build. I'm getting vibes with this. I really am. I love how rustic it feels, how like overgrown and natural this feels it just feels really natural this place and i love it lovely bit of um terrain painting there my love and just the details everywhere the little cheeky details that i'm for like these little i would have presumed they would have been stables maybe um but i don't know what we would do with that i'm i'll have a little look inside and then i can work out what we're going to deal with it but just look just look at it it's so cute everything about this is just quaint and lovely and believable. It is a tiny little, tiny little building, but I absolutely think the shape of it's wonderful. The roofing as well. Like I absolutely love the roofing. He did such a great job there. Such a great job. And I love this little like diagonal double entrance thing that we got going on here. I'm all for it. So without further ado, let's have a little look on the inside, shall we? Oh, there's beams galore in here. Beams galore. I'm absolutely for it. So this is a kitchen here. Oh, look what you've done with the shelves all around the top for a bit of detail. Oh, I'm for that, I tell. I tell. I tell you. I'm for that. Nice little store cupboard here. Little fridge look. Oh, it's like a little like larder or a pantry. An outside toilet as well. Like a little, um, what do they call them again? I can't remember. Cannot remember the French term. But there we go. Little table outside as well for that. Let me have a little look in here. Oh, this is so cute. It's overgrown with ivy and grass in here. I love how that's in there. I don't think that would be usable, but I love the premise and the idea behind that. That's so clever. Very, very clever. And then into, look at these like beams. I may have to get rid of a couple of those beams though, just so I can just open this space out a little bit more. I will definitely keep as many as I can though, because I really like this vibe coming through. Oh, I just love the vibe in here. It's nice. It is very nice. Yes, I'm for it. Where's this then? So this comes out here and this goes into a staircase. Okay, right. Let's we'll go up the stairs in a second. I just want to see in here as well. The stables being kept and used as a storeroom. Um, is there a connection on that side? There is. 
Oh, I might have a little idea there. Let me just have a little look upstairs, see what we've got up here. Oh, so it's kind of like one big open room here where several beds are. That's cool. Don't think I'll do that. I think I'll separate this off and have a two bedroom up here. Maybe you could have like a little hallway in the front here, a toilet here, and then a bedroom either side here. So it's like comes as a two bedroom kind of main house. And then what I'm thinking with the old stables, maybe making this into like a, a separate let to earn some money. You know, like some people who have got like Airbnbs, they will kind of rent out a part of their kind of property. We could have their own kitchen in here and a bathroom and a bedroom. <clears throat> oh, I like that idea. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. I like that idea. So we'll have the stables as like a little separate um, rental area and then separate this off so it's a two bedroom home with a bathroom up here can I do a bathroom downstairs as well I'm sure I could squeeze one in somewhere for sure yeah do you know what I'm gonna maybe get rid of the storeroom and extend like have the kitchen in here maybe a dining room here with a bathroom around here and then this can be the living area here oh I'm for that I really am I'm going to try and keep this rustic French countryside vibe as well. I really want to go with the sort of French countryside vibe. So I'm going to try and keep as many of this kind of like style, much of this style as possible, including the walls. May change the flooring slightly. I love that flooring, but I'm thinking about maybe using the Star Wars flooring for a change. You know, I've never used it before. Um, is that my nose? Sorry, my nose is whistling. All right, it stopped. <laughs> There's an outside shower here. Oh, cool. It's like a boot room then. So you come and wash your boots off after a nice walk in the French countryside. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. So yeah, I'm I'm not going to change anything on the exterior apart from making this into it because I love how this looks. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. I even like all the windows. May, I may like put like a wall like here, if you know what I mean, and have like a central door there. I might do that, though, just so we haven't got two separate doors, like one going into the main living area and then one into here. And then maybe open this space out then and just have that kind of like, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm for that idea. Yes, I'm for it. OK, so without further ado, my loves, let's get over into the speed build portion. I'm going to start renovating this gorgeous, gorgeous build because I am just I'm in love with that. It's so perfect. Je ne sais quoi bleu, and all of that business. So here we go, lovelies, on to the cleanup process of this build. I had so much fun with this. It was a lovely build to renovate. It really was. And I did the majority of what we said in the kind of overview. Like, I kept it very rustic. I only got rid of a bit of the landscaping as well, just the sort of dry looking bits. Put a lot more lavender in, got rid of the, like the colourful flowers and stuff. Um, just wanted it to look a little bit more natural, but I just, oh, this build was gorgeous. Harps, well done. I would keep saying it, but well done. This build was absolutely lovely. Um, yes, wonderful, wonderful. So we did do what I said we were going to do as well with the uh, old stables. We made that into kind of a separate looking rental property. I know things don't work like that in The Sims, but we're trying to be realistic um, and it would make a lot of sense. Like, she got inherited this. Maybe she needed a little bit more income and stuff. So, she decided to go down that route. And lots of people come and stay. And they've got their own entrance. They've got their own bathroom and kitchen. And little mini living room as well. So, lovely. Absolutely stunning. So, we had 25,000 simoleons. Um, by the end of getting rid of everything, I think I had around about 50-something which was nice, allowed me to renovate the whole house. And then I think we were left with about 10,000. So we were left with about 10,000 Smolian. So not a lot changed per se. You can see I'm, I get rid of a few of the beams and stuff. I just need to get rid of those diagonal ones. And I kept the original sort of central ones down the sort of length of the living room. And I just thought it looked lovely. I did, did. And I'm leaving behind a few things as well, a few chairs here and there. Um... This is me wondering why that bloody roof is like poking in. Oh, God's sake, I wish they would fix that. I say that in nearly every one of my videos, but I really wish that they would. It's so frustrating. I get rid of this roof and I sort that out later. So don't you worry, it does come back in again. 
but I just get rid of it from now. And I, I think about it later. I just think, do you know what? You can do one for the minute. I'm going to get rid of you and I'm going to sort, sort you out later. And sometimes it's an easy sort out, but sometimes it takes a little bit of a while to understand why the roofs are clipping in. Managed to sort that one out. Put some more beams up here just to sort of like really bring it home. And then I separated this area off like we said we would into two separate bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs as well. So it's it's a nice space and it was a really, really nice space as well for the like furniture and things. Everything fit in there lovely. And I was very much, I, I was very much for it. Really was. <laughs> How are you all doing today? I hope you're good. Um, welcome to Wednesdays. Welcome to Wednesday's video. I know we're like 20 minutes in, but um, I'm loving this series. Still loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I think people were confused that this was like a one-off thing. Now, this is a permanent series on my channel now. So I will be getting a video out of Design Me Devon every week. And then here and there, I might not do it every month, but here and there we'll do like a Design Me Devon week where... It's just a full week of me renovating your builds and stuff. And I'd like to do some... I'm going to start renovating some of the EA's builds as well. But that's going to be like a, a separate kind of series. They're more like fun videos. Um, so be on the lookouts for them, my loves. Uh, because they shall be coming very soon. So this is me putting the wallpapers in the kind of resident the kind of rental area sorry now and i end up going for the snowy escape ones again i'm using them to death at the minute but i just think they matched in with the vibe here and yet they were still kind of semi-modern looking with but still keeping in with the aesthetics of the actual chateau itself and yes very nice and i don't know if you noticed but i've worked out a setting with my um my editing software on how to make my videos not pixelated anymore look at this moving around in a smooth fashion i'm watching it back in 4k as well and it is 60 frames per second and in 4k so i'm more than happy and there's not an ounce of pixelation anywhere i'm very much for that very much am so with the terrain paint my thoughts were it was all grass and i thought maybe there was some original stone underneath and when they were like doing yard work, they saw it and decided to um, get all the grass off and really dig down and get the original stone flowing again. So I still wanted the stone to look old, but I, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted, I just wanted stone. And I bought this one from Get to Work, the two kind of terrain paints that go together and you can kind of go into all the cracks and make the pavement look a little bit older. I decided to do that with it. I thought I looked, I thought it just suit this build. I really, really did. And I loved it. Really, really loved it. And as I said, with the landscaping as well, we ended up putting it up a new fence as well. Um, the landscaping, I kept the majority the same. I just added a lot more lavender. I mean, this is a French chateau. Lavender uh, would look lovely here. La lavender is very kind of prominent in France um, and Europe in general, really. But... I just wanted it to come through a little bit here. So we put a brand new fence up just to fence in the lot, a bit of security. And did I do a, fit, a gate here? I did. I think I used this one, but sized it down and then I moved the fences along. There wasn't a fence long enough on that side. So what I ended up doing is putting up this kind of, um, using the posts and just making my own fence. And it looks more like a little ball of like wood, but I think it's fine. It's fine. It's rustic. It's like sort of linked together weirdly. I hope I sort out that bit that pokes out there. I hope it did. <laughs> anyway, this was my this was my thoughts here. This is where the kitchen is, and I was like, oh, it would be nice to have some doors out from here onto a little patio area where they could come and sit outside. So I end up doing a patio area around here and putting on those doors from Seasons, and I just thought that worked really nicely. I really did, and I, I like it. I like how it came through at the end i really did really really did um it's, it's, i used the same chairs and table as well that we've got in the corner there i used the same ones outside here too i get rid of the horseshoe game and the flower like uh, arranging table that they just weren't oh god what was that <laughs> what was that did i put a different transition in then i think i might have <laughs> i'm just like my pc just died <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, I use the same tables. I just put a different swatch on them and put this out here with a parasol on top of it as well. It just looked very je ne sais quoi. 
And I was very much for it. I hope I didn't do all of those transitions in between every single one of these. Because that would be... Nope, that's fine. We're back to a dissolve. That's fine by me. So this is me now going in and just putting in a bit more detail in with the landscaping and making it look a little bit more natural. These lavender bushes are always so bloody massive. So I end up sizing a few down. I still keep a few bigger up in the corners and stuff, but I end up sizing them down and using the smaller ones instead. And using that bike as well that was left over. Just painted it a little bit so it kind of stood out against the build. Um, and I, I just like it. I do, do you know what I mean? I like this vibe in the front here. I like that we went with a bit more of a stone in front of the building. I think it just sits in with nicely with the walls and stuff. And it would stop you, stop you from dragging mud and stuff into the house and things. And very much for that. But I like this landscaping. I like the subtle white flowers, the kind of viney looking grass and a pop of yellow and lavender-y colour. Just, I like that. I think it's very nice and it just reminds me of the French countryside, which I love, by the way. The French countryside is beautiful as well. I've um, been to France many times. Used to holiday a lot there. But um, yes. I'd like to go back one day. I'd like to do the South of France again one day. I really would. Really bloody would. So I've put in a chimney as well on this side. Main reasons being this is going to be a rental. They're going to need some kind of like wood burner, which is what I do. I use a wood burner and I think it's very cute. Very cute. So that was like a newish addition. So this is me going and getting the parasol table out now. I go for this little sort of faded red one. And I just pretend that we painted the chairs or something on the outside, you know, got rid of them, sold them. Lovely. I mean, we've still got 53,000 simoleons left and we've only just started on the interior. So we were good for money. We were definitely good for money in this place. Um, I decided to put wood upstairs as well rather than stone. I went for a wood on the upstairs and then flagstone on the bottom. Um, and I end up there ends up being a fireplace in each of the rooms as well. Um, including the living room downstairs. Did I leave one in the kitchen? I don't think I did. No, I think I got rid of the one in the kitchen. But it still looks bloody lovely. And the best thing about this is that you can still recognise this house from the original. So from like Ohop's original kind of run down, sort of left behind or left alone one. You can still kind of recognize this. And I decided to put in some of those, um, what are they called again? Cypress trees as well. It just always reminds me of France and Spain and just Europe. Europe in general. So I put them in and it looks bloody lovely. Really does. So this little like corner over here is the main little like sitting area as such. I put a desk in behind the sofa here. And um, it's all facing the fireplace. I just thought it was a nice space, a nice space for a small family, you know. I reckon a family of two or three living in here would be perfect, four at a push. Um, but it's still a nice big space, it really is. It would probably be better if it was a uh, family of four and you kind of used the separate, um, the separate kind of new stables as their bedroom rather than if this was me playing this, I would have like a family of three living here and maybe a roommate. Can you do that? Can you have a family plus a roommate? You must be able to. If not, they need to implement that. And they'd have the roommate staying in the place and pretend that they're renting that, you know? Oh, I like that idea. I do. Um, but yeah, using like, trying to like get my head around, let's use some more traditional objects in here. Still sticking with neutral tones in here, but I wanted this French sort of like countryside vibe to come through and I think it does I think it kind of does I think it's the everything that helps it the flooring and the styles of the furniture and things and the color palette that we went for it's just very soft and lovely struggled to put a coffee table here I was just like oh for god's sake what why the coffee tables are too long they're too big they're not the right shapes we need some smaller coffee tables so I end up going for the side table because it is practically a coffee table anyway the size of it so I used this one and I just think it looks nice. No TV or anything on this lot either. Didn't want to go down that route. Wanted it to be very classic and you come here to get away from all of the technological advances of the world. And that's what I went for with this place. And I think it's rather nice. I do. This weird little corridor here, I was like, this would be probably perfect for another bookcase. So I end up going for the one from um, Realm of Magic. The color's a bit off, but it's okay. It's tucked away. You can't see it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And yeah, using a lot of like the wicker sort of like 
rugs and stuff as well. I think that really helped. Now, ignore this kitchen that we're putting in at the minute. Um, I always go to use the Realm of Magic kitchen in houses like this and then forget that they don't have matching cupboards upstairs. So they can absolutely fucking do one now. I'm never using them again. <laughs> I ended up going for the vampire one as well instead. Which at the minute looks a bit like, oh god, a bit green. But... It slowly comes together. Even I was thinking, oh, it doesn't really give me the vibe. But it does come together in the end. And I, I kind of like it. And I'm for it. Again, little farmhouse tables where I end up going for just a tape, like a four one. Like a four sim table. Um, Main reason being, as I said, small family. So that's why we went for. And I decided to put corners, uh, counters on the other side as well. Main reason being I wanted to get a sink in away from everything else. Plus have a dishwasher too. And that was what happened here. That was what happened here. I just think it's a nice sized kitchen as well. The dining area was a little bit tight to squeeze in, but I still think it works. I still think it works quite well. Really does. Have I been sat off bloody camera this whole time? I'm trying to like, every time I've been recording lately, I've been like, hi guys. Yeah. And it's really pissed me off. So the fact that I was like sat off central then. Virgo, by the way. How big of a Virgo? For goodness. But yeah, the more I was putting into here, blackening up the furniture, getting a bit more gold in with like the sink, the plates on the walls. Um, <clears throat> I just thought it started to set in that green. And in the end, I really, really loved the green kitchen. I thought it was very nice. Um, and I was, yeah, absolutely here for it. Really was super tired today compared to yesterday. You can probably like hear it in me. I'm not as hyper or anything. Main reasons being. Cyberpunk, my loves. 2 a.m. I didn't get to bed last... Didn't get to bed to last night. Didn't get to bed till last night. Oh, my God. Failed at speaking human then. Um, so I'm, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. So sorry. But you've got a chilled out, tired agent today. So this is the little rental bit. This is the rental bit. In the beginning, struggled to get a kitchen layout. Main reasons being I still wanted them to have some kind of dining space. And I thought I was going to be able to do this by adding in what I was doing in here. Try keeping an eye on the budget as well because I knew I still had two bedrooms to furnish. And I only had 27,000 smoleons left. So I was just like, oh god, we've got three bedrooms to do plus two bathrooms. So I need to make sure that I'm sort of... No, it was three bathrooms. So three bathrooms plus three bedrooms. And I only had 27k. I was like, are we going to be able to do this? I know people can build houses for that much. But sometimes when you're trying to go for tasteful, it gets a bit hard. It gets a bit hard. So I was like, oh, God. And this work layout was not working. What, what I was doing here. Liked the kitchen layout. That was fine. It was just the little living area setup that we had down here. It was just not working. So in the end, I ended up moving the windows, putting the wood burner on the... Well, you'll see me do it now. Putting the wood burner on this wall and then getting a sofa in rather than two armchairs. And it worked. It worked. It just took a little bit of sho sh shoveling. Just took a little bit of shuffling everything around. And it flowed a lot better. It really did. And I think it was a nice, cute little, like, rental Airbnb looking place. And I'm very much for it. I thought it was very cute. So, yeah, it's got everything that you would need. Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living area, heat. And set in a gorgeous countryside. Like, for it. I would stay here in a heartbeat. I really would. I miss doing that as well. Me and my best friend used to go and stay in Airbnbs quite often. And I miss doing that. I can't wait till Mrs. Rona is over so we can both go and do that together because I miss it. I really do. So yeah, quite a lot of base game furniture came into handy in this place. It really did. I just think that odor style um, was a lot more prominent in the base game rather than anything else. I would like to see some more. I would like to see some like more Victorian inspired stuff that isn't over the top as what vampires was you know some lovely victorian tiles and victorian windows and doors i would like to see some more please thank you and just don't go over the top just keep it subtle and tasteful please sims team thank you very much anyway upstairs so this is one of the first rooms so this is i go for a base game bed um i think with this bed i decided on just pushing it against the wall slightly so the sims would have to shuffle over if they did want to use them 
Um, but I don't really mind that. The main reason is being I wanted to keep that wood burner in here. Imagine that wood burner like as you're laying in bed. That would be so lovely. You'll see it in the video tour at the end, which is coming up in how how long? How long have we got here? We got a minute 35. Not too bad at all. Um, I'm paying homage to the French countryside. I've got in some sunflowers and what we can pretend are big bouquets of lavender as well. And I, I always forget where that object's from. Is it from Laundry Day? I can't remember. Obviously, the lost door of Vagina Nana needed to be in here. But um, <laughs> I just love that painting. I do. I love that painting. And I go for this bed in here as well in that subtle colour there. And I think I had to shuffle this room around. I did. I love this layout here. I think that layout's lovely. But I worked out that if I wanted a dresser in here or something, which I do, I would have to move the bed over to that side so they still can get into each side i just preferred the layout that we had it before i really did anyway i'm going to stop waffling on now i think i show you how i furnish a bathroom but there are one two three bathrooms in this house which is nice little small house with lots of bathrooms but anyway I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, 7pm, my loves. We're going to go and tour around my hometown on Google Earth and get some ideas for builds. And then we're going to go custom content shopping for some Christmas CC. So if you want to join us, you're more than welcome. But I will leave you now. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. And yeah, this is a bathroom. Goodbye.